Today we will discuss how to configure IPSI in Avaya G650 Gateway. In G650 Gateway, always the first slot will be for used for IPSI. The IPSI card contains two Ethernet ports. One is service port and another is network port which is going to connect on the switch side. To configure the IPSI, connect your laptop to the service port of IPSI card and keep your IP address of laptop is 192.11.13.5 by default the IPSI service port IP address is 192.11.13.6 that's why we kept that as the same as a gateway okay once you connected to the laptop you try to ping those IP address so I am just going for the network configuration I am checking my network connectivity I kept my Ethernet IP address, laptop IP address 13.5 and default gateway 13.6. Now I will try to ping the IP address. I can able to ping the IP address. Good. So in the next step you need to log into the putty. Don't use SSH. In case if you are using SSH, you will see this error by default. Say usually it will be in SSH and you will try to open and it won't get open. But you can able to ping that IP. So you think some other problem is there. It's not like that. We should not use SSH. We should use Telnet. So I am going to use the Telnet. 192. 192.11.13.6 open so now it's got open so once it's open you need to use you need to log in this is the steps you need to log in via ipsy login then you need to follow those steps let me do that one so i'm just going to ipsy login then craft Yes, C R V one C E yes. All we are having here the same steps. I am just following. Okay, I get up to admin. So show control interface. No IP address. It's showing all zero zero. So now I need to assign the IP address. Set control interface. 192.168.1 I am just going to keep 120 1.120 subnet mask so it's showing like invalid input ok so in this case if you are having the invalid input like that you do one thing you just try to reset let it come reset and come and then you try the same command it will work let wait so I reset it two times then I can able to get this now set control interface I can able to enter uh, once I am done I need to give exit then login again then reset okay so now I need to go for the exit Okay, now I need to log in again. 182.11.13.6. Then I need to give reset command. Yes. Okay, let wait. After two minutes, I am just restart the section. So, login again. Let me check. So, control interface. So, my IP address is assigned this time. See, now the next command is set control gateway. 
state control gateway 192.168.1.1 yeah it's also taken then i need to give a exit then i need to log in again 192.11.13.6 then I need to give reset command yes enter just will wait for one minute and just restarting the section show control interface now we got the thing we assign the ipsi ip address with the gateway the next step you need to set the port duplex set port duplex one full okay set port d u p l e x one full set ports speed 100 mbps let me check set port ngo negotiation 1 disable ok i need to just cross check this uh, spelling just hold on i reset one more time and login logged in you need to give 100 mb mb is capital okay set port speed 100 mb then one more time i am going to reset then this time i am going to give set port negotiation let it come so many times you need to do the same thing we need to reset you need to exit you need to log in So now let me try set port N G O T N G T I O N one disable. So this also taken. Now you need to reset one more time. Okay, let me exit and we'll do it one more time okay so all the steps is done the only difference we did here also we we did one reset uh, after this command then here also we did one reset after the command here also we did one reset after the command the reset is not we just exited so two times we given reset here and reset here so let me log in now 192.11.13.6 okay log into ssh so that's the problem i need to make sure telnet 192.11.13.6 ok ok we setted everything so to confirm one more time we will do show control interface okay everything is fine so now we will connect and now we will connect this cable to the switch and we will try to ping okay let me ping the ip address okay i can able to ping the 120 ip address i will do one thing let me try to log in right now with 120 192.168.1.120 okay i need to do with telnet now hmm. 182.168.1.120 okay let's me try let me log into the avaya set administrator display system parameters customer option so port network should be enabled then only you can able to add the command add cabinet okay So the next is we need to give change system parameters IP server interface. Okay, let me go here. 
change system parameters IP server interface and we need to enable this one enable F3 now in the next step is add cabinet add IP server interface okay add cabinet 1 cabinet layout F5 G650 okay and press F3 then add IP server interface 1 and give the IP address of your IPC 120 gateway 192.168.1.1 okay added after adding we need to busy out and release okay busy out IP server interface 01A okay release IP server interface 01A okay and then list IP server interface it should become in service because now it's showing 1111 means we need to check whether it is connected on network or not okay we need to cross check it is connected to network or not otherwise we'll have the problem one one it should be zero 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 so now it's came within two minutes it is zero zero okay so our ipc got registered if you give list to config all it will show what are the cards are presented so the first slot is ipc second is clan third is metro fourth is your val announcement board so now it's very clear i hope okay so we are good to Close IPC. The comment is list IP server interface. It got registered. Okay. Now we can add the phones and it will take the resources. Uh, the next process in the next video we will see how to add the CLAN metro cards and all. Thank you for watching.